I'm going to show you how I did that. I'm going to share a script with you that makes all this work with the animations and stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new scenario so I could show you properly how to set this up. So we're going to start off with a civilian, a player, and a Zamek truck. I'm not going to recreate the scenario exactly as I had it. So next we're going to go to props and we're going to type in the word gate and we're going to collapse this. We're going to go to walls, the military, and we're going to choose a bar gate and we're going to place the bar gate right about here and we're going to square it up with the road. Now if you're putting this on a hill or a slant incline you're going to want to transform this and orient the object to the terrain normally so that it sits properly. Next we're going to edit the bar gate and we're going to give it a variable name of BG1. Just hit OK and that's all you need to do for the bar gate. Next we're going to go to blue 4 and we're going to choose an officer. We're going to place him right about here and we're going to transform him and orient him to the terrain normally so he'll stand upright more. Now with the officer make sure that he's kind of pointing inward towards the road and you'll see why once um, once we play this out. So now we're going to edit the officer and we're going to give him a variable name of S1. Just hit OK, that's all we need to do for him. Next we're going to choose a rifleman and we're going to place him right about here and we're going to adjust his position so that he's about here. We're going to orient his position to the terrain and with this guy, for the animation to work correctly, you can't have him like this or like this. He needs to be like something like that pointing into the row just like this guy. Let's edit him. We're going to give him a variable name of S2 and we'll hit OK. Next we're going to place a trigger. We're going to choose a trigger without a size. We're going to place that right about here in the middle. Expand it a little bit and we're going to edit it. Make it a rectangle trigger. We're going to go to activation and we're going to set this for any player present. We don't need to set it for repeatable and we're going to put something in the on activation box but first uh, let's just hit OK. That's fine for now and we're going to expand this trigger and adjust it so that it's squared with the bar gate. So that's it for that. We're just going to save this and we're going to put this on stratus. We're going to name this mission checkpoint underscore script. All right, so as I said, I'm going to share a script with you on how this all works. So let's go to the scenario tab at the top left and then down to where it says open scenario folder. All right, here we are in the scenario folder. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the script that I have. I'm going to put it inside the mission folder. I'm going to zip the script up into a zip file and link it for download in the description of the video so when you get it just take the script and put it into your scenario folder just like I did here. Alright let's open up the script and let's take a look. So this is a checkpoint script and what you need to do for this to work is you need to take this code and put it into the on activation box of the trigger. We'll do that after we review the script. And then you need to name one soldier, either S1 or whatever you want. It doesn't have to be S1, but as you can see, all the names that are highlighted for S1, then you need to make sure that whatever you name your soldier, he has to be that name all the way down. For S2, it'll be the second soldier, and there's only one line for that. That's all you need to do. Now we're going to go to the third line here. The first soldier, which is an officer, he does what's called a switch move. And it is essentially an animation that he performs. And uh, this is what the animation is. I'll show you how 
what these look like using something else. So once he does his animation, then there's a one second sleep or a wait. The side chat will say, stop, we need to check the vehicle. So if you wanted to change this to something else, then make sure that whatever you change it to is in between the quotes, just like I have here. And then after this side chat is another sleep, which is just over two and a half seconds, an animation occurs, and then he goes into the next switch move or animation. So this gives the first soldier another animation to give the second soldier check, signal to check, and then there's a sleep between that and the second soldier. So the first the sleep here is under a second. The second soldier, S2, does his switch move or his anim animation and he will actually walk and check the vehicle just like you've seen. After that he'll walk back to his original position and then there will be a sleep for 20 seconds and the side chat will come up and say okay you are cleared to go. That's when in this he'll give you the thumbs up and then you can go. After that there is an animation for five seconds. There is a sleep for five seconds and then the bar gate will animate. It will open and then the bar gate will close in five seconds after you've passed through. Now if you just stay sitting there then the bar gate will open and then the bar gate will close. Alright what we need to do next is we're going to take this code right here this is going to call the script. We're going to press Control C and then we're going to go back into the mission and add it to the trigger. All right, back in the mission, let's edit the trigger. And in the on activation box, just press Control V, which will paste the code. That should be it. And just hit OK. We'll save that and let's test out the mission. back to the script. What I want to actually show you is how to look up different animations under the axe. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Google and we're going to type in switch move, one word, or ARMA3. So switch move is on the ARMA3 wiki. And you click it and what you get here is switch move. If you go to the top here where it says category moves and click on that, and then once you get to this page, you're going to go to Arma 3 Moves. You click on that. And this will bring up a list of all the animations that you could choose from, which is where I got my animation for whatever you want to do at your checkpoint. So in the actions, what you're going to want is Axe. Those are the animations you want is Axe. So you basically go up to whichever ones you want. You just scroll down. This is the side. This is the side here that you want. So you just scroll down. So this axe continues beyond these animations. So if you go further down, so here we are in axe again. Animations that I used. The first one was axe perks MSTP1, etc. So that's you scroll down. Here's the one that I used. Erg's pack slow, whatever, hand up to C, which is this one right here. This is the one I used for the first one. Then the second one is signal to check. You scroll down for that one. Here it is. Signal to check. And then the third animation is axe walk, walking, checking. And that one is going to be down here. Axe walking, checking. You're probably wondering, okay, well, 
I get the names for the animation to add to the script, but how do I know what these animations do? For that, I'm going to show you a mod that you could use that will allow you to get a visual of what these animations actually do. So if I bring up Steam here, what you're going to want to do is subscribe to Popox Artwork Supporter. And this will allow you to take a look at all the animations I just showed you while you're in game. So subscribe to this. I'll link this in the description of the video. That way you guys can check it out. Let's go back into the mission and take a look at the animations that we looked at here. All right, if you have Polpox Artwork Supporter Mod loaded, then all you need to do is hold down Control and then press Q, and that'll put you in the animation viewer. So what you need to do in order to see the animations under Axe is go into the search box at the top here and type in the word Axe and press enter and that'll make a list of all the acts so I'm going to show you which one I used the one I used was the axe perk hand up to C which was this one alright so you could use this one or you could use this one or use the 2C one I, I used or use this one or use this one or this one now the other part where the first soldier signals to check which is this that's that one and then the second soldier that does the actual checking that's this animation so what he's actually going to do is move and the thing is, he actually walks up an incline, which I don't understand why he would do that if, if the animation can be applied. So the, the thing with this animation is you need to put the soldier on a kind of an incline like I did, if you're going to use this animation, because otherwise he's just going to be walking up midair. It doesn't look right. So, All right, guys, let's get out of that. I'll link this page in the description of the video. That way you could access these. You could also use Pulpox uh, Artwork Supporter. Just understand that he has a tutorial article here. I recommend that you take a look as it'll go into detail of how it works. Uh, the controls that you could use. Uh, how to open it. How to apply animations. Look at the viewer. Uh, the you know different controls and other aspects to it even some code and some other information so I'm gonna link those in the description of the video so I want to thank you guys for watching I will catch you on the next video and for more codes and scripts take a look at this playlist